GarageBand is Apple's prosumer-level music recording app. It combines a lot of the features you see in more professional digital audio workstations. The big uh, new feature in this latest version of GarageBand is actually an entirely new interface called Live Loops, and that lets you stack up all sorts of uh, samples and loops. You can either use uh, imported ones, ones that Apple provides, you can record your own, or just play entire stacks of them, just kind of like this. Or you can just play a whole row with them that you've set up beforehand. And that lets you do a lot of on-the-fly arranging and music creation. And let's say you're doing some sort of DJ performance thing and you want to actually play samples like an instrument. Uh, that's a cool way to do this. Or if you just have a bunch of samples you've been working on. There's also, of course, the traditional recording interface uh, that they still have and they've added some new features to that. Uh, this looks a lot more like traditional music recording. You see all the tracks I've recorded here and I can control the volume of the tracks uh, and you can do, you know, virtual keyboards and guitars, or you can actually use the built-in mic or plug in a mic and record your own. The big new addition here is something called Drummer, and that is an AI drummer that is found in Logic Pro. That has now made its way to GarageBand, and what that lets you do is open up a uh, drum track, and then you can pick uh, the drummer. There are several styles of drummer. And then once you pick one, you can then decide if you want the drum beat they play to be more complex, more simple, louder, quieter. There's a lot of variation there. And if you do it right, it really sounds like a live drummer that sort of uh, adapts as you record the rest of your song, kind of gets rid of that robotic loop feeling. There's a lot more you can do in GarageBand that we can go into here. Uh, there are cool effects you can apply to the tracks. There's a lot you can do with timing. You can go in and edit the individual MIDI notes and even do all sorts of automation. Uh, it's a super powerful tool that still has uh, a very casual, consumer-friendly edge.